What's up everybody, King of FOMO here coming at you with your daily crypto update. Make sure you follow me over there on Telegram, that's t.me slash kingoffomo1 as well as my TikTok channel listed right there on the screen. Alright, so we're going to be talking more about DFYN and the Polygon token. Where are these things headed? Let's let, let's take a look at both of them and see kind of the parabolic movements. So to talk about these things, let's go ahead and go back to when I first talked about Polygon. This was about a month and a half ago. I made a video titled Polygon, Matic, and Zilliqa to $1 soon. And Polygon was at $0.35. Cents, and I've really just been preaching and telling people that this is a really, really good second layer solution. If it gets adopted, which currently you see it happening, it is getting adopted for sure, uh, then the sky is the limit with these tokens, or with, with Polygon in particular. And Polygon has been doing exactly that. We're seeing Polygon currently at an all-time high of $1.63 today, shattering some of the uh, predictions that I made. I said it was going to hit a dollar soon, and then you know my next prediction is $3, and from there we can see $10 and up. Um, so I think that $3 is a shoe in at this moment at the rate that it's growing uh, unless we have some cat catastrophe happen with polygon i think that three dollars is definitely on its way um, so with that uh, you have to really keep an eye on the polygon blockchain learn how to use it train yourself it's not really that difficult just be involved in the coin itself if you want to find some really really big gems and i told you guys about one in my last video and that's dfyn which is your competitor to quick swap now i gave you guys the safe prediction of about three to five dollars realistically over time uh, but as we see polygon get more and more adoption then your competitor to quick swap your serious competitor to quick swap this is not just you know one of your uh, give me some of your give the dev some funds uh, clones of quick swap but this is a um uh, <clears throat> an automated market maker that's going to do more than what QuickSwap is doing, I think that DFYN is definitely within the realm of being able to pass QuickSwap. If not, at the very least, I think it's going to be on the same level as QuickSwap in terms of trading. But honestly, I really do think that they they are set up to uh, pass QuickSwap. Um, so <clears throat> what is my price prediction for DFYN? I really do think that $10 is going to put it on the same plane field as quick swap at the current prices so ten dollars might actually be low if polygon continues to grow and if quick swap continues to grow then we could see the dfyn token hit higher than ten dollars and that's a stable price because this is a coin that can be farmed just like the quick swap token which can also be farmed quick swap is sitting at about eight hundred and thirty dollars their circulating supply is about a hundred and sixty thousand while the dfyn circulating supply is about nine million at the current moment um, so, uh, like I said, the, pri the price will reduce just because the supply is going to increase over time, but I think that it's going to happen at a healthy rate because they're not just bleeding tokens all the time. They're their token release schedule makes sense and, and makes it a little more sustainable than a lot of these other clones that just bleed money every single day. Um, so DFYN is a gem that you guys should definitely be taking a look at. What I'm doing, what I've been doing, I've been, I've been saying this for days upon days. I've really been farming and farming and farming some of these tokens. Tokens like Veracity, tokens like Zillica on Vipers, or, uh, uh, Viper Swap over on Harmony, Zillica, on whatever the swap they have, I forget what they have off the top of my head. And over here on DFYN, we can see that I've been farming for about two days. And in two days worth of time, because I got on this in the early, early beginning, these rates are going to drop. This is why I'm trying to let you, I'm trying to drive this point home this point home early so that you guys get the best rates if you do decide this. If you decide to farm, the rates that I'm get that I that I've gotten over the past two days, I've gotten four thousand coins. Now at that at the current price of DFYN, we can see that four thousand coins for the little amount that I have is twelve thousand dollars. That's nearly that's close to about a ten percent return uh, on what I put in to farm with this thing immediately so that that is insane 10 percent in two days with a coin that has staying power is really really great now again like i said these rates are definitely going to drop as people flock into the dfyn system so you know a couple days ago it was like <clears throat> 1400 dfyn a day then it was 1000 dfyn a day by the end of today it's going to be less than 800 dfyn a day that i'm going to be making so if you want to get some dfyn per day do it 
as early as possible. You got a lot of different pools to choose from uh, in the farms, uh, and there's some like if you're holding Uniswap tokens, that's a really good pool to get into. I actually might move my Uni tokens over from Binance Smart Chain over to DFYN and do some farming over here with them uh, because I think the rates are really good. Now, on top of that, I did the exact same thing with Polygon. What I did was I staked my tokens. I bought about 30K worth of Polygon tokens or Matic tokens and stake them about a month and a half ago that 30k is now worth 268k and my reward is about seven thousand dollars for about a month and a half of farming over here or staking over here on the matic staking ecosystem now granted these rates are much lower because there's way more money in here uh so again your rates are going to be really really good in dfyn as p as less people know about it uh, so that was a really really good call staking then Writing the price of the coin up, writing the rewards up, and writing the price of my rewards up at the same time. I think that DFYN is definitely on the same trajectory to do that. And if I'm making 4,000 tokens in two days, which is currently valued at about $12,000, uh, I look at it and I don't say this, that's 3000 that's that's $12,000 at the current rate. I look at it as in what is the rate going to be realistically when this thing launches, uh, you know, medium best case scenario. And I do think that $10 is a realistic best case, medium best case scenario. It could definitely go higher than that. But $10 is a really realistic case price point for DFYN in the short term. So that means that in two days from farming this token, I, I'm looking at a grand total of about $40,000. That is incredible. And again, the reason why is because I jumped in here on basically day one uh, of farming. And again, if you guys want to kind of ride that wave, it's best to jump in on this kind of stuff early. Uniswap did the same thing. They had farming for their uni token. People made lots and lots of uni tokens. They were cheap, a couple dollars at the time. Now uni tokens are worth upwards of $40 a piece. So these swap tokens can definitely get there. And don't say I didn't warn you when DFYN does hit $10 and you know my 913 uh, tokens a day is gonna turn into $9,130 a day, uh, which is going to be you know really nice. So again, what I'm doing, I'm going to move a lot of my funds that are just sitting over on the Binance Smart Chain probably over to DFYN and mess around with stuff over here. That's my plan. Uh, do your research on this. Follow their Telegram channel. Somebody asked me for the link for this before. I know I'm kind of rehashing my video from yesterday, but I do want to drive home the point that Polygon is taking off like crazy right now. I think that a lot of your good Polygon tokens are gonna do the same thing. I'm not talking about things like Poly Doge or Steakhouse Finance or anything like that. I'm talking about your coins that are that actually have some development built behind them. Uh, look for those. Honestly, if you can find those, those are the ones you're gonna look at. And and again, it, it, the, one of the main reasons why Polygon is doing so good, it is a second layer solution. It is not centralized like the, like Binance, um, and on top of that, like Ethereum's fees are still off the walls crazy, and and they're going to be as long as Ethereum stays the number two cryptocurrency and doesn't dump to, to nothingness, which I don't think it will. Um, the fees are going to be extremely high. There, there's there's not going to be that much that they can do to reduce the fees to what they were a couple of years ago when Ethereum was ninety dollars. So um, so that is DFYN. I think ten dollars. Pretty uh, easy prediction from here on out. With Polygon, let's take a look at Polygon. I mean, this is, I haven't really gotten a chance to do a good prediction on this. I might still do a separate video on this altogether. Sitting at rank 19, up 11% in the past hour. It'll probably dip a little bit, so just be prepared for that. But overall, I think it's going to continue to go up <clears throat> and hopefully hit this top 10 spot. So, you know, reevaluating this, Polygon currently has a market cap of 10 million dollars i predicted this before i said it's gonna gonna get a market cap of 10 million dollars be right around solana and v chain and it's it's right around solana and v chain so the next step for polygon a 2x i think is definitely within the realm of possibility for this thing hitting about heading close to about four dollars maybe about three dollars and 75 cents um is kind of the next step which is where i put my my next 
target for Polygon. And from then on out, it's going to be in kind of the Goldilocks zone of growth where you know, no coin has really gone before. We do have Cardano that's kind of in that Goldilocks zone, but Cardano doesn't have an ecosystem that's really usable at the current moment. And we have a few other coins that also don't really have an ecosystem that's usable at the current moment. And then you have your grandpa coins like Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin, as well as uh, Tether and XRP, uh, and even Dogecoin. So like, man, just having like Chainlink was one of the first ones to really break un unprecedented levels and stay in, the, stay in the top 10 spot. And I think that we have Solana potentially and um, Polygon and, and even the Theta Network. These are three tokens that I think that uh, you know, we, we might see these and, and get used to these couple new coins, not these grandpa Ethereum classic uh, Bitcoin Cash Litecoin coins being at the top uh, from here on out. So I'm looking forward to that and seeing what uh what, what the Polygon ecosystem can do. But like I said, I'm telling you right now, I, I, I've, I've predicted what people will do. And, you know, if you're early and you can see the the path that things are taking, the path that, that Polygon's taking seems a little obvious to me. Um, people are going to start start using the system. I, I mean, I know there's tons of people still on Ethereum buying dog coins and spending $200 in gas. And I think that developers and as well as just regular people are just going to say, man, let me just pay my my admission fee to Polygon, my $200 admission fee to Polygon, move all of my Ethereum over there. <clears throat> and... Um, trade on there it's 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 just such a nicer experience overall anyway that's everything for today check out polygon check out dfyn these things are primed to grow in the short term i think uh, of course they can have some major swings they're up upwards of 50 to 25 percent in the past day uh, so maybe you might want to wait for a better buyer buying opportunity but nonetheless um i don't i really don't think things are going to slow down too much for either of these that either of these coins dfyn or polygon unless it's a big unless, unless another coin steps up to the plate. And I mean, I don't want to make this too long, but I know that I was a little worried, not worried, but I was I was um, cautious in thinking that Phantom was going to really take that top spot. And um, I think one of the big reasons why Phantom is just not moving really much as, as much as it should be is because bridging over to Phantom is a nightmare. So um, when they get that fixed, we'll see what happens uh, with price of Phantom and Polygon, but definitely looking forward to both of these blockchains growing. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.